I mean, I think the show tonight really proved a point from start to finish that AEW is a legit contender for uh, the alternative to every other wrestling company uh, going on in the world today. Very fresh. I think the fact that we have a, a brain trust of people in their 30s um, and are people that think that they're in their 30s. Um, I know that it's a whole fresh attitude here. And it's not just me coming over from, from WWE, throwing Dean Mariko and John Moxley and Jim Ross and Dustin Rhodes, and all of us have the exact same attitude, which is, this is so exciting, so much fun, uh, because it's what wrestling is supposed to be. We are artists, uh, we are creative people, and I find in the past there's a lot of other people's opinions that we shouldn't have to deal with when it comes to putting together a show or putting together a match or putting together a character because nobody knows what's better for my character than me and no one has to write anything for me to say because I know what to say. And I think tonight really showed how exciting it can be when you have a bunch of people with uh, similar mindsets and um, a whole kind of contingency of fans that are looking for something extra, something, something an alternative. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with giving people a choice, and we have now established that AEW gives you a choice. If you're Chris, as someone who used to be in WWE, what do you think of Cody's entrance with the sledgehammer and the throne? Uh, I'm not sure I saw it because I was too busy getting ready for for, for my match, but. Um, once again, you've got a lot of guys with very uh, great ideas, and I know from my entrance tonight, I believe that was Cody's idea as well. That then we take, you know, take the lead and kind of all work on it together. So it's part of wrestling. It's something that Cody understands, and, and all of us do. That the pomp and circumstance of wrestling is sometimes the best part. Uh, throw in some great matches and some great stories behind it, like you saw tonight, and then just some athletes from another planet. It seems we really have a diverse roster and I think tonight show proved that. I mean I really enjoyed the one match I did see was the, the six woman Joshi girls match. Never seen any of them before. Probably couldn't even tell you any of their names. Um, but I know that when the match was on I sure did enjoy it and there was no restraints on them. To go and be you uh, who would watch six Japanese girls they'd never heard of before? Well, the crowd tonight seemed to like them, and I'm sure most people watching at home did. So that's just another example of like if you're good and you have passion and you know how to put on a show and put on a great match, well, give us a call and we'll give you a, give you a shot. A lot's been said about the success of AEW kind of hinging on attracting a lapsed fan. Tonight, obviously, I would say was a great first step in drawing those eyes in. Talk to me about what the process is for continuing to draw those fans back who have become disenfranchised with what they've been watching. Well, I think it's just, once again, you have to show people that this is a different mindset. Um, I think a lot of times, especially when you think about, okay, let's think about wrestling. Well, that's WWE. Think about, you know, uh, soda. Well, that's Coca-Cola. Think about, you know, uh, rock and roll. Let's do it. Rolling Stones. We have to let them know that we're not... Uh, saying that you shouldn't listen to the Stones, but if you want to listen to another band that's got a different mindset, come give us a try. If you like this, then see if you like us as well. And I think it's one of the main reasons um, why it was so important for me to sign with AEW, is that you got a guy who everybody who's a wrestling fan knows. The people that are watching now, the people that watched 10 years ago, the people that watched 20 years ago. When there was 14 million wrestling fans watching, Chris Jericho was on the TV. So I think it'll be like, what's Jericho's in this AEW? What's this AEW? Well, Jericho's there. A, we like him. B, we used to like him. C, I remember watching him. Let's give it a try. And then when they come and see Chris Jericho's match, then they learn who Kenny Omega is and the Young Bucks and the Lucha Brothers and you know everybody else that was on the show that had such a great performance tonight. It's the same thing that happened when I went to New Japan with Kenny as well. A lot of people went to check out that product because of me, and then when they got there, they realized that it was a lot of fun uh, with a different style. AEW uh, kind of takes that same concept and moves it even a thousand times more because I think we have the three things you need for a wrestling company to be successful, or any company in entertainment, is uh, the financial backing, check that box off, is the uh, television, you know, the, the way to get uh, people's eyeballs on it, we've got that, and then having a great roster of talent that all has a similar mindset, and what I like the best 
is a lot of these people, wrestling fans in the States, have never heard of before. Who's Kenny Omega? And then when they see him, they're going, who is this guy? He's amazing. He's a 15-year overnight sensation. He's been working all, you know, his whole career overseas and all these other places. When he comes here to the States, people are going to go nuts for him. And we have a whole roster of those type of guys. Then throw in a Jericho, throw in a John Moxley, and a huge surprise, which was so exciting for all of us involved. Um, and you just have a, once again, there's nothing wrong with giving people a choice. We're doing things a different way. But I know what I want to see as a wrestling fan, and this company is what I'm looking for as a fan. After give, the, oh, 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 give the young man Little a question. Junior has got a question. How old are you, buddy? All right, congratulations. Um, with the match with Kenny and you, having it be one of the, the biggest match on the card, mm -hmm. and everyone was so excited to see it, how did you feel while it was going on? See, he asked it much better than you did, Kenny. He does. Do you want to tonight? How did I feel about it? Well, I mean, once again, the, the secret to a great wrestling show is... It's like like a great set list from a band. You start out big and then you move through and through and through. So the last match, the last song should be the biggest one that leaves people the most excited. Uh, so I think we did that tonight. But once again, I mean, to follow the Lucha Brothers versus the Young Bucks, it's not an easy thing to do, which is why we worked the match a completely different way, much more violent and brutal, uh, hard-hitting, which is kind of both of our styles. We have that from, from our Canadian upbringing. So I think, once again, if you're talking about the three main events of Cody and Dustin and the Young Bucks and Luchas and then Kenny and, and, and Jericho, you had three different style of matches. You had a bloodbath, the family story, the tie-in. Then you had this high-flying spectacular. And then you had a brawl, fight, uh, uh, rematch of one of the best matches from last year with this great finish at the end with the surprise guy. And uh, we positioned everybody tonight. So I think the build of the show was great. I think I enjoyed the match. Um, I don't enjoy it sometimes while I'm doing it because it hurts. But, um, you know, uh, it's, it's one of those things with, at the end of the day, you sit back and go, you know what? After four months of anticipation, I think everybody got what they expected and more. Chris, what it's exactly like was the spot that busted open Kenny's nose, or busted his nose off? But it's not a spot, I punched him in the face. <laughs> what more do you want, dude? Cover your ears. When you punch him in the fucking nose, that's what happens. Chris, I, I, Chris good morning. I, I, th I think sometimes people forget that this is, you know, this is a contact sport, and I can't even really tell you uh, what happened, but once again, when it does, we move on and go through it, and I think it adds the intensity when you have some some blood, as long as it's not mine. Can you forget your schedule, your schedule in AEW, you've been a weekly TV show. You've talked about not wanting to be there all the time and do what you used to do. Have you kind of thought about where you want your schedule to be? Is there anything you get away about it? Well, I know what my schedule is going to be because we have it in my contract, and it's going to be a very... Uh, everything that I do in AEW is going to be important. When I, when, I, when I appear on the show, it's going to be for a reason, and it's going to be something big. So. Um, I think I'm excited. I think the next show I'm doing is uh, the show in Jacksonville. You talked hey, about the importance of your role. How much pressure do you feel like knowing that you are that guy that people are going to say, wow, Jericho's there, let me check this out. Oh, by the way, the rest of this stuff, that's cool yeah, too. Yeah, I, I thrive on it. Um, I want to make a difference. I don't want to be just another number uh, on a board somewhere. And I think if I would have went back to WWE, that's kind of the role that was there for me, which is fine. Um, my biggest thing is when I had the best angle in 2016, the best story with Kevin Owens, and we ended up second on WrestleMania, that's when I knew it's like, it, it, I gotta get out of here. That should have been the main event or semi-main event of the show. And that's not being any type of, 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 of the word we bit or whatever, that's just stone cold business. I get it, I understand. So for me to come here, now it, it's, a chance to make a difference and to really be at the level that a guy with 29 years of experience and at 48 still having great matches and really no signs of slowing down for whatever reason, I think this is a great place for me to be in and there's a lot of pressure, but I can take pressure because I've been having it. Like when you've made an event at WrestleMania, you don't really care about pressure anymore. And there's a lot of guys on this roster who might not feel the same way. I mean, you may have been a Tokyo Dome like Kenny has, same thing. So. The pressure is a good thing because we're all working towards the same outcome, which once again is to have a great alternative for wrestling fans and to bring wrestling fans back uh, into enjoying this sport that we all love. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Chris.